Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 of No Shave November video vlog update. Um, I'm just getting ready to record some uh, uh, assault rifle footage um, for another Escape from Tarkov video. And then I will be going live on Twitch today and I will be playing a little bit of... Uh, 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 a little bit of Escape from Tarkov, a little bit of Heroes and Generals, and what I want to do is I want to do a comparison kind of thing, where I will be comparing things that you can learn in Escape from Tarkov with things that you can learn uh, from in the, and, and, and apply them to other games like Heroes and Generals and stuff like that. So I'll be doing that now. I want to make a point uh, of the new, the new Doctor. I would make this a Coffee Time with Cobra, but it's not Coffee Time with Cobra worthy, so... Pretty much. This is the new Doctor. This dozy tart. Don't know her name. Don't want to know her name. No, I don't hate the fact that she's a woman. No, you know, the whole hashtag feminism. Um, I'm, don't care. I don't care that the Doctor's a woman. What I care about is the fact that they've taken every fucking version of the Doctor, okay, every version of the Doctor, thrown it in a blender, okay, blended the fuck out of it until it's like a puree, added the, the, the feminist vaginal freaking seal of quality is what I, I called it. There's my post right there. And voila, you've got that shit. She's got the suspenders and the rainbow and everything else. Rainbow. If you're English, you know what that is. And um, basically, I can already hear the BBC selling the rights back to the Americans. The, I'm sorry. We're fucked either way, period. We're fucked if we do, fucked if we don't. Let me explain why. Okay, if the show flops, feminists are just going to blame it on patriarchy, which is a whole bunch of bollocks. Because if there was a patriarchy, there wouldn't even be a female fucking doctor in the first place. Shut your fucking vagina lips. Okay, plain and simple. Including you, male feminists. Yes. Sadly, yes, you beta cucks. Plain and simple, shut your fucking faces. Okay, because if there was a patriarchy, you wouldn't even have a fucking chance. Okay? There wouldn't even fucking be an all-female Ghostbusters that flopped. And I even made mention to that in this post. In fact, I'm going to read this post and put, to quote it. No, she looks like someone has taken all the classic Doctors and blended them together and added a vaginal feminist seal of quality. And voila, you have this shit. No, I am not against a female Doctor. If you... It did wonders for the Ghostbusters, right? I'm not sure if it will do the, the same for the Doctor. It's like I can already hear the BBC selling the rights back to an American broadcasting company. I take, uh, uh, I take it no one here remembers the movie, right? The Doctor Who movie, right? That flopped, right? You know, where Paul, M Paul McGann, you know, hello, kind of thing. Um, uh, no one? Anyone? Anyway, I'm sure the BBC know what they're doing after all. It's not like them to fuck up a show uh, like Top Gear, Sarah Jones Diaries, Torchwood, and countless other shows, right? So yeah, the BBC know exactly what the fuck they're doing, don't they? But hey, why take my word for it, right? Why, 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 take, why take the word of some scruffy-faced-looking twat, right? Who only has like 500 subscribers on YouTube. Why take my advice? Huh, BBC? Why? Because I've been a loyal fan of Doctor Who when Doctor Who originally started as a fucking radio show. When it had You May Fire When Ready playing the Doctor for the first time. Hmm. 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 All you've got to do is just Google Doctor Who movies. You'll see what I'm talking about. When Doctor Who was a radio show, and Doctor Who then first became a movie in Panavision, Pana before it even became colour. Go. 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 Sorry about that, my dog. And, yeah. When he had a, a niece, a, a son, a daughter, an entire family. 
then it got rebooted into a black and white TV show. You know. Then. That's how long I've been a fan. The fact that some of my family members, I'm not going to say who, the fact that some of my family members have been in Doctor Who as extras. That the fact that one of my family members, again, not saying who, actually owns one of the original TARDISes that the BBC sold off after they sold the rights to to the Americans. I believe it was Fox or CBS or, or something like that. It was one of, one of the Yank, Yank stations. Yeah. And the BBC sold off a shit ton of Cybermen costumes, Dalek costumes, oh, and two, no, correction, three TARDISes. Three. And one of my family members has one of them. And no, he won't sell it. It's his. It's staying in his collection, along with an entire Cyberman suit. Yeah. It's amazing how they reintroduced the Cybermen and all they could find was one helmet. They couldn't even find a full Cyberman suit. I wonder why, BBC. Maybe your props department got sticky fingers? No. It has to do with the fact that you literally threw down there everything else away. The consoles, everything else, you either smashed them, threw them away, or sold them. And then the show got picked back up, and you scrambled to buy everything back, and collectors wouldn't sell, and then you got pissed, and lo and behold, but hey, you know, yeah. So, what do I think of the new female doctor? She'll be here with an improvement over Capaldi. Vagina or no vagina. I'm sorry. Peter Capaldi is an amazing actor. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say he isn't. He is. He's an amazing actor, but sadly he was giving shit. Absolute shit. Some of the story writers for Doctor Who, this, 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 this generation. Capaldi's regeneration should just quit writing or go back to writing fucking Teletubby episodes because it's clear that's what you, you, you're you used to just fucking doing. Now Moffat, that man could write a fucking story. Do I need to utter the words, are you my mummy? That alone, those words invoke fear in you. The fact that he made a gas mask, creepy enough as it is, even more creepy. But hey ho, you know, let's hope. Let's give this new new writer, new director, new 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 a actor a shot, shall we? So, like I said, I'm not against a female doctor. Far from it. Not against it. Not against female Ghostbusters. Far from it. Not against it. Not against it at all. What I hate is having it thrusted upon me like some sort of super horny fucking retarded fucking Harvey Weinstein. Ah, feminism, feminism, feminism! Ah, ah, ah. No, just no. No, no, no. 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 Back up. I know feminists. I've dated feminists. I'm an egalitarian. That should fucking tell you something. But you know what? I'm just a creep with a camera, right? Ciao.